I've just been going through some old photos and when I was in my 30s, this is my 30th birthday actually, two of my buddies, two of my mates, one of who's passed away. Um, the other one's, he's still alive and he's now in his 80s, just turned 80 last year. Where was I in life? At the age of 30, 31, I was at a bit of a crossroads. I didn't quite know what to do. Up until that point, I'd been working in professional environments, been working really hard, yeah, but I was really just servicing clients. I didn't really know what I was gonna do. And I actually got a little bit depressed about it all uh, because I had no direction, had no purpose. I had made no decision. I hadn't thought through in my own mind what I actually was gonna be good at or what I could do. This was the precursor, this period was a precursor to, for me to breaking into the mortgage industry and becoming the wizard guy or owning the wizard business. But I had to spend a, a couple of years in the the darkness and a couple of years and just out there in the wilderness trying to find myself and work out what it is I needed to do going forward. I had a, a new family, I was just remarried, I had uh, one child who just came back from where he was living in France to Australia, he was five. I had another kid on the way to uh, my second wife, um, what I didn't realise I was going to have another two after that. What I quickly worked out is I got to hurry up and build something for myself, not as an employee, but working for myself, which is going to earn me enough money to pay for all these kids' school fees and all the other things I had to do to make them have a good life. That photo there was the beginning of a major shift in my life, a major shift. I'm sort of glad it happened. It was pretty confronting at the time, though, to be honest with you, very confronting. To be in the wilderness is the toughest thing there is, and I sort of felt like I was pretty much out there on my own, like trying to work out, I had to work this out, this shit out for myself, I had to work it out. No, no one was there to tell me what to do. It wasn't a world of Instagram or inspiration or seminars or motivational speakers or Facebook or anything. It was just, then it was then you had a, like, a, hand, a handset <laughs> that you rang up in the office, no computers, and you had to work out what you had to do for yourself. Anyway, I toughed it out. Um, I guess to that extent I experienced resilience in its hardest form. I continually questioned myself and challenged myself as to what's going to happen from here. I did panic a few times, um, but I managed to calm the panic down. I was lucky I was experienced in banking and I had a good understanding of capital markets. I had a degree, a master's degree in capital markets. Thanks, Mum. And then there was a, a change around the world, a global change around the world where liquidity arose and the whole wizard opportunity became a reality. But, it, you know, that was a reality. It, it was just something I could achieve, but I had to go and do it. I had to actually go and embrace it, make the decision, do it. And what I did is I sold my house, I sold everything. I sold everything and I took the money from those sales, put everything at risk, my whole family and I invested all that money into the wizard business. And from there on, um, I just worked my ass off and I built structures around me. We're just talking about structures, but I built structures around me and that's where I realized that structure is the king. Before that, I worked in other people's structure. Now I had to develop my own structure for my own business and adhere to it and make sure everyone around me adhered to it. And that's how wizard was born. That's where wizard came from, that environment that came from me being out in the wilderness. That, that feeling was the greatest event of my life. So, you know, like if you feel like you're out there in the wilderness, you're at that crossroads, you're pivoting, whatever the case may be, or you lost a job, or the world has changed around you, you know, that, that job that you were doing is no longer relevant. Um, I know you're gonna think you're the only person in the world out there, I felt that, um, but you're not. There's lots gone before you, there's lots gonna go ahead of you, and there's lots and lots of people feeling it right now as well. The only person gonna solve it is you. Unfortunately, there's not anyone else can solve it for you. You have to solve it yourself. And you have to draw on all those skills and expertise you have, look where it can be fitted into, make as many sacrifices as you have to make, and basically take it on.